if you create CSVs with Python, then you probably often need to write headers with those CSVs. For instance, if you need to use the CSV with pandas or import it into SQL once you've created it, then headers are obviously the way to identify. And how do you best create a header? If you start appending to your code within a for loop, you don't want to have headers each time. This is where I'm about to show you how to use if not header added, which looks to see if you've already got a header and if you already have, then don't write a new one. So let's get go and miss some code. Okay, so this is an example where I'm writing a header line here and then I'm writing the content which is an F string based upon these variables. Um, the key point here is that we're doing it with without using CSV writer, import CSV, and also we're doing it within a for loop. So if I just quickly run it, and I'll show you what the problem is, so that you can all imagine what the problem is. So if we just go and look at it, we see we've got multiple lots of the header. And obviously we're not using CSV writer. So how do we do it without how can we make a header without using CSV writer and how can we have it appear only once within the for loop? So what you do is you have something outside of the for loop called something meaningful such as header added header underscore added equals false and then you say if not header added then write the header and also header added then equals true and you set that so that it doesn't run again so if i just delete the I'll make sure i delete the right file there we go so if i delete that and run this again and then preview that you see we've got header once and then we've got three lines it's three because the fourth iteration didn't run because it's upper exclusive I remembered it. Right, okay, so that's just doing it without CSV Writer. Now, all I've done is I've written the same lot of data four times. Next, the important part of this is really being able to use this within a function. So let's look at that. Okay, so I've adjusted the original bit of code and now I'm putting um, a list of tuples. This really is just some dummy data. Don't really pay too much attention to that. What I've done is I've turned this into a function called CSV underscore write and I'm passing it a list. Um, as you can see, when I actually use the function at the end, I'm passing it ls and it's just ls is also what i've used in the prototype so header e underscore added equals force that's indented once and then the four is indented once and then obviously you need to indent with open so what we're doing is we're saying <clears throat> open the csv to append it for each iteration so we're going to get three iterations one two three iterations because each um, that effectively there's three items in that list to iterate through so then we write i which is the iteration or the iterable uh, so we should end up with a csv with a row of headers a a b b c c which will be the, at the top of each column and then we should get a row of ones a row of twos and a row of three so let's just run it and name f is not defined how dare you? One second. Right, fix that typo. Let's go. So run. That's already run very quickly. And then if we open the preview, there we go. Oh, and what is it done? It's uh, it's appended it because I did. I already have it there. Can't remember. Let's um, get in the right model. Let's delete that. Just test it one more time. Okay, run check the file and there you have it and um, AABBCC which correspond with the header so we've written one header and then we've written three rows now 
what can we see here? We can see that because we've written from the tuple, um, it's done something a bit odd. It's written in the first column. It's written the opening bracket as well, the opening parentheses, parenthesis. And um, so it's written in the first column. It's written everything to the left of the to the left of the comma. So that's something to watch out for. Um, that's not the focus of this video. The focus of this video is using if not header added. So with this example, you've seen a slight little issue with brackets. However, um, with a pandas data frame, which is what I would be using in a real world example uh, or real world code, um, that what you see there wouldn't actually be an issue. What, we, what we're actually doing is we're using a function to iterate through a list and to append to the list. Now, if we were checking if a file existed, we would have to use os.path and uh, check if the response.csv file already existed. And if it did, then we would write the headers. But we already have the CSV file in existence and we don't want to check if the CSV file exists. All we care about is whether the header exists. We don't want to delete the CSV just because the header exists. I hope that makes sense. So don't check if the file exists if you're using a function to iterate through a list and append to the list. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> don't use file exists if you are appending to a list as a CSV within a function. Good. Next time, thumbs up, subscribe.